now introducing Dr. Njakare Damages. Yay! Yay! Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. New York! Yeah! New York is so great that when our mayor wants to hype a hot dog competition, he makes a hot speech. Watch. No question, it's going to be a dog fight. Just think of how many we got into one sentence. That was really impressive. Who wrote this shit? I bet you at the end of this episode, you all will find yourself asking the same question. Who wrote this crap? Who wrote this crap? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the big story of this century happened this week. Really? Yeah, scientists at the European Nuclear Science Lab in Switzerland have discovered God particle. Yes, yes, it's, it's all over. Yeah. All that you think you know about life in this universe is now obsolete. What? For real? Babas, yawa. These scientists have been knocking at heaven's door for so long, finally they busted it open. Mm. The first thing these scientists proved is that I am my grandfather. What? Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. And, and they conducted a DNA test on God particle. Guess what they discovered? What? what? God is a Nigerian. Ah! That, that, that explains everything. A another group of scientists working in Gaza Strip called the Al Jazeera scientists. They have proved that the former Palestinian leader, Yasser Arafat, was poisoned. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, but do you know how they found out? Oh. They tested the scarf of Arafat and found out that it has a high level of radioactive substance. Really? But that doesn't prove anything. What if he was chewing uranium and thinking that it was cola nut? I, I mean, anyway, his body will now be exhumed for test. Really? I, I don't know about you, but this plan to exhume Arafat's body is scary. The last time a mountain like Arafat was exhumed in the Middle East, Pontius Pilate had to take shower on his grave to stop the Templex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Too complicated. Anyway, this week America marked its Independence Day. Yay! Happy Independence Day! Yeah, across the world, people used that opportunity to declare that we hold this truth to be self-evident. That's right. That among all this, are that their life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Yay! Wow, wonderful! After that, they stuffed hot dogs into their mouth to see who will die first. <laughs> Watch. Chestnut, there he goes, 9.1, 9. 9. that's the dog per minute count, and that's where he's got to be. Wow, wow, I know, I know. <laughs> Lazy Americans, however, use the opportunity to come out of the closet. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The U.S. Chief Justice, John Roberts, came out as a socialist who supports socialized medicine. Wow. Yeah, at CNN, Anderson Cooper came out to announce that he's gay. Oh, wow. Yes. And not to be outdone, Charlie Boy announced that he's an alien from outer space. I knew it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the greatest, the greatest of them, President Goodluck Jonathan, came out to announce that he's a general of the Nigerian army. <laughs> okay, okay, that was not what inspired President Jonathan. Last weekend, the Oba of Benin humiliated President Jonathan. The Oba left him waiting inside the palace for hours. Why the Oba consulted the oracles to see if the gods would approve him meeting Jonathan? Mm. Yeah, at the end, the gods asked the Oba to meet him inside the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Jonathan. Yeah. After the humiliation, he decided to do a little gargara. Mm. So he decided the next day to show up at a military factory what? where they make bulletproof vest in the uniform of an army general. <laughs> Something funny happened at the factory. <laughs> Staff what? of the factory demonstrated how it works for the president to see. Damn! Wow, wow. After that, the president asks that someone should wear the vest and be shot as a test of how good the vest I wear. Uh -huh. No Nigerian agreed to wear the <laughs> wear <the> <laughs> But then, but then, this white man said yes. Watch what happened. Whoa. Uh, Shabag. Shabag, the Ola. Hey, yo. <laughs> wow. Now, now, let me ask you, how many of you are following the three million bribery scandal going on in me, the National me, Assembly? Me, 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 I mean, the Farouk Lawan and Femi Odetola oh, story. Yes, I Well, every day it gets crazier and crazier. Wow. Audio tapes and video tapes of the encounters hey. are dropping. When is 
tell me about Last week, a remix of the audio came out. A you, remix. you watch. I have a confession. Don't take it personal. I have a confession. So you gotta listen. I have a confession. Don't take it personal. Meanwhile, Farouk Lawan said he actually received money from Otedola, mm -hmm. but it was not a bribe. Mm -hmm. It was for him to go to Egypt and marry a 13 year old girl. Oh. Well, Farouk's colleagues at the House of Representatives are not going to miss their own chance to be bribed too. Mm. So they set up another committee to look into the allegation of bribe given to Farouk's former committee. Mm. As expected, the new committee invited Otedola to explain why he supported marriage to an Egyptian 13-year-old girl. Mm. When there are millions of 13-year-old primary school girls in, in Nigeria, Nigeria. <laughs> Being a blindsided businessman, Femi Otedola said he will only talk on camera and not in private. I know that's right. Yeah, true. It pissed the chairman of the committee off. Whoa. The alhaji went off. Watch. And in addition to that, he was just laughing. <laughs> it was very stupid of him. <laughs> wow. This, this man called Femi Otedola very stupid. Very Stupid. What is happening to Nigeria? Mm. Even rich people do not get any respect anymore. Yeah. Well, OPC has revoked the chairman's visa to Lagos. Hey. No more. He can't go to Lagos. Yeah. Meanwhile, Mr. Femi Otedola is not taking this crap sitting down. Mm. Here is the millionaire addressing the media on this issue. Anything done in that kind will always come out in lightness. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Everything is done, he, this is what he said, everything that is done in the darkness must appear in the lightness. Yeah. Yeah. Umbrella, umbrella, Don't umbrella. confuse that great quote with another Femi Otedola's great quote, which said, everything you eat through your mouth must come out through your gnashiness. <laughs> Talking about exposed gnash, less than a week on the job, Sambo Dasuki, the National Security Advisor has gotten the phone numbers of Boko Haram leaders. What? Right. I told you. Wow. You see what I mean? You never, never send a kid to go and do a man's job. Mm. Oh. Now, let us see if Boko Haram leaders will pick up his call. Mm. <laughs> I doubt it, you know, because at the last presidential uh, chat, we know that Nigerians called the president, but he did not pick up. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep our fingers crossed. Mm. Mm. Talking about the media, Talking about the media chat, I know many of you are wondering what happened to the video yeah, of the event. Mm. Well, Asso Rock paid off all the Nigerian media to destroy the tape. Yes. They don't want you to see where your president told Nigerians that he did not give a damn yes. about whatever yes. crap they were going through. Wow. Trust me, our crack reporters found a bootleg copy of the video. Amen. I must warn you that the video is poor, the quality of the audio is poor. But we will help you understand what the president was saying. You watch. Yes, here President Jonathan was saying, all of you are idiots. Mm -hmm. What do you know about being president? <laughs> It is not like appointing one person in the family to go and buy meat in the market. I mean, if Olusegun Obasanjo proved that one could be president for life, and Shehu Shagari proved that anybody could be president, I, good luck Jonathan, is the living proof that we do not need a president. <laughs> I swear, that, that was what he said there. That was what he said. Meanwhile, just one week after we told you that Chris Okotie asked his wife to pack out, Katie Holmes, Packed out of Tom Cruise's home oh. and filed for divorce. Yeah. Chris Okote and Tom Cruise are two old pop culture stars mm. who share a strange religion. Mm. Otherwise, the two are very different. Mm. One is a short man who cannot get his wife pregnant. Uh -huh. mm. The other one is Chris Okote. Yeah. Why, why are you looking at me like that? Yeah. I didn't say anything that yeah. mean. It, no. it, it was Chris Okote's former wife who said that she was leaving because he could not get her pregnant. Mm, when the first lady, Patience Jonathan, heard it, she called the woman up and said, Honey, listen to me. Hmm. What does that matter? If there is any chance that he could be president, 
That is our show for today. Until next week, I diagnose. You, you yourself. Thank you, thank you.